Step one, kick your shoes off. Oh. It's your boy. Safe to grab Mike. All right, safe to grab Mike. What are we learning today? Push cork nine. Oh, personal favorite. Tighten your pants to up your hat. You got some forces on this one. We we'll start with the, the physics of the trick. You're going backwards, so skiing your backwards. First of all, you gotta be able to spin up to a nine at this point. I don't care what axis, just be able to do a nine. You do cork seven and probably cork nine. So I'm gonna redo that. You should be able to do a cork nine. So misty seven, misty nine. Next, since you're going switch, it's important that you're patient on this set. So if you rush it and you kind of skirt the takeoff, you catch an edge, potential of injury and nothing on your head goes up. Oh, on snow. On snow, yes. Yeah. Just keep that in mind when you're practicing on traveling, not a bad thing to do. So we're gonna start with two 180 like you on ski. That idea whenever you're on trampoline and like cork sevens, there's a progression, right? I'm gonna say this, but I don't want you to get this stuck in your head because this can cause some confusion. Essentially, switch cork nine is a switch 180 to a cork seven. It does not feel like that when you're doing it because it's not broken, it's one motion. So, when you do a cork seven, you're starting like this and you're bringing your feet up. When you do a switch cork nine, you're starting like this and then you're starting the switch cork seven in this motion. That's some confusion. So, that's essentially what it is, but don't try and do a switch 180 to a cork seven. It'll whack it up. We're gonna start with the progression. A big T-set, shoulders open, hips, athletic position. Essentially, you know what it is, right? Pop your 180, you've done your 180. Shoulder out, like that. I was too close to the edge of the trampoline, so I did not do it. We're gonna back up a bit. <laughs> All right, shoulders out, like that. Grab a nine. Big set like this. Now you gotta be patient and you gotta have a strong core because these legs have gotta come up like this. Different angle. Coming in. Hips up. Spin. Around. Back on track. So you got this progression done. You want some mileage on this piece, right? You're gonna wanna get it dialed right in, you know? The big thing on this trick. When you're coming out at the end and you're finishing this whirly bird, eyes gotta come up and out. Very similar to a cork seven ending. It's a lot of spinning and then the last flip is hips up, eyes up. If you don't do that, you're gonna roll to a 10. Be prepared for that option, because it might happen. I'll demonstrate a 10 right now. So, difference. Now you're gonna do a switch cork nine to feet. Get some height, pop. See that? Oh, I crushed my chest again. So, you set that, and I'm looking at Bruce as long as I can. Because it's a lot of spinning at the start and opening at the end. Kind of like a cork 10 if you do a cork 10. Patience, strong core. You know what power is? One's brewing up. You can practice that too. Add all these pieces together. You don't have to boost to the moon. You can have to pop switch. Sweet. All right, here I am. Pat goes quick, so I'm going to do a quick overview for you guys. Uh, you nailed it. But basically, switch cork nine. Lads, you all know it. You've seen it. It's basically switch one to cork seven, as Pat said. If you think of it like that way, it might mess you up. It might make it easier. It made it easier for me. It messes some people up. What you need to worry about is your set, which is this. Top 180. Hips up and around, and then pull your eyes to the end, just as Pat said. Super simple. Um, if you're having problems getting that, you can try it forward like you're doing a misty. So in your misty progression, you go like this, and then roll, and then around, and then you can do it like this. And then you go misty, roll, around, and eyes up. That is the same thing as the switch cork nine, just you're taking off switch. And as Pat said earlier, if you're on the snow, you have to be careful. Uh, if you set early and you're not patient, you will catch your skis on the takeoff of the jump. So when you're on snow and you're not doing a, you're doing a switch cork nine instead of a misty, really be careful to get your hips up and then around. And then all together, as Pat has showed you, it looks like this. And you 
you just landed on snow. All the ladies love you. You're grabbing a drink at the bar and you're off to have a good time with your friends. Deuces. Deuces. I'm gonna do a POV. POV party in the house. <laughs> Pop that sexy one eight. All right, here I am guys, dirt stash and all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to switch cork nine. On trampoline, it's kind of like either a misty nine, it's kind of hard to make it a switch cork nine on trampoline, but on snow, as long as you practice the proper set, proper takeoff and visualize it as a switch cork nine on the trampoline, it'll definitely help a lot, especially with the axis. Switch one to cork seven is what has helped me learn it the most. I hope you guys like Pat talking about it because added a little bit of spice to the tutorials and made it a little more interesting. I know it goes really fast, so I kind of tried to break it down at the end for you guys. If you guys really like this video and you've seen all the other ones and you want some more coaching help and experience, um, join the Patreon, it'll be down below. I'm doing one-on-one -on -one coaching for everybody who joins Patreon with a kid exclusive. Uh, it's just basically all the other content, extra stuff you guys will get. If you will have any questions on tricks, you literally ask me, I'll make a video on it or I'll call you explaining it or I'll FaceTime you explaining it. We can walk through it however long it takes for you to get it. Also, I have gym programs, stretch routines, all that stuff in that tier as well. So check it out down below if you guys want help skiing and I'll do my best to help you. I'm pretty good with this stuff, so I think I can help you quite well. Also, nutrition plans and stuff like that are coming soon as well. So basically, you'd be paying 10 bucks for like a specialized gym program, which is normally like 50 to 100 bucks a month from anywhere else. Then you get all the exclusive content. You get to ask podcast guest questions. You get my stretch routine, the one I use, all the games of ski and tramp that I'll be putting out throughout the summer and the winter coming up, plus all the exclusive edits and stuff I'm also putting out. And then all the other stuff that I decided to throw on the Patreon along the way as well. So check it out, lads. It's been real. I'll see you in the next how-to vlog or podcast. Deuces. I'm out. The kid is out.